So we're back with another video in our barn conversion. We thought we'd stop out here today, get a few more little jobs done. One thing Ashley's gonna do today. Paint the door. Today's finally painting day. You guys are gonna love the colors she picked. And I also picked up my box extension. It's basically an electrical box without a bottom. And that's gonna allow me to double the space of one of my junction boxes so that I have enough room for all the wires inside there. Also, we can't wait to share with you guys our new string lights. The other night, Ashley and I came out here and we got all the string lights put up on the trusses and they look awesome. So I think it's gonna be better to show them at night, but we'll try to get those in the video so you guys can see the string lights all done. And that's part of why I'm doing this right now to finish off this last, last truss right here. And that'll be it for the, all the electrical in this whole room. Yep. It's probably better to take the hardware off the door to paint it but it's so cold out and we just don't want to deal with taking it off, putting it back on and losing heat and all that. Yeah, and it's just the barn room. It's not like a house door or anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna install my outlet now up on this truss. You'll see what I'm talking about. I blacked out the box extension with duct tape so it matches everything so you can see our lights hanging here i'll show you guys more of that soon but we we hung them on all the trusses kind of in a triangular shape so there it is outlet installed you can see it doubled up that box depth kind of hard to see black on black but you get the idea and i got the string lights plugged into it so let's show the lights during the daytime so you guys can see what they look like right now. So these are looking actually pretty epic. They look awesome in person. I hope the camera is capturing it okay, but really neat. We can't wait to show you guys them at <laughs> night. It's time for the paint. I think you guys are getting a sneak peek there of what the color is. This is a paint that we had in our utility room from a previous project. So, yeah, we've been trying to use paints and stains and stuff that we've had already so we don't have to spend more money. Wow. And this is called Fiji by Bear Paint. It's bubbly because I was shaking it. Right there. Fiji, in case anybody's wondering. Okay guys, it's after dark. We came back out. The door is dry. It looks amazing. One coat, it's gonna do it. The so, color is awesome. Yeah, I hope the camera renders the color correctly for you guys. I'm gonna try to get it as close as I can, but it's a really, really pretty and aqua popping color that just looks pretty cool with the black and white and everything. The finish came out good. We put some flow troll, which is a paint kind of flower 
Yeah. It makes paint kind of flow and so you don't see those uh, rolling marks or brush marks in your paint and that helped a lot. So we're gonna be putting the weather stripping back in, door is done. But now the exciting part, we can show you guys the lights at night. It's hard to film. I took some pictures, we're gonna pop those in, but these lights look great. Yeah. All right guys, take a look at these lights at night. They actually light up the room really well. Not, you know, great for videography, but I mean, it's pretty cool in here. It's nice and cozy and relaxing with all the lights on together. I love the way they sparkle off that aluminum ceiling. It just really adds to it. It makes it look like a lot more lights, doesn't it? I might be a little out of breath because I just stacked a bunch of firewood. We just bought our first load of real firewood. Wanted to stock up a little bit and just make sure we had some uh, wood handy in case we need it, just in case there's any power outages and that feels good to get that out of the way. Now, I just wanted to come back and give you guys the final word and the final update. You guys saw the door, the lights, everything in here is coming out amazing. Looks great. Now, we're a little behind because we thought we would be done with the floor by now. And that's because weeks ago, we bought something for this floor. And unfortunately, it got lost. It was supposed to be uh, delivered to Home Depot. We were gonna pick it up. Now, it was supposed to arrive by December 31st. The tracking actually said it arrived on the 29th. That was great, but the store couldn't find it. A week went by, they couldn't find it. Two weeks went by, they couldn't find it. They kept telling me it was still on its way, and then the next person would tell me that it's, I don't know, it was a big mess. So needless to say, it was lost. Somehow they lost something that I don't know how you could lose, and we had to, they had to reorder it for us. So we're waiting for it to arrive again. And that's why we're behind on this project. We really wanted to be further along right now. Hopefully the floor comes soon and doesn't get lost again. And then we can get that down and start moving in some of the more, you know, just using the room better. So other than that, we've just been hanging tight, waiting for something good to happen and just taking each day one step at a time. Ashley brought a bit of art out here to hang. This is her cruel. It's a string art, yarn art that she made uh, probably a few years ago now. And we thought it fit really nice out here, so she brought it out. And I think other than that, there's not too much more to share. Uh, again, just hanging out, taking it one day at a time. And we just wanted to stop by, give this update, let you guys know we're okay. We got some projects around the house I'm going to be working on and hopefully wrapping up some loose ends in there. So I'll probably be doing that soon. I'm going to try. And that's all. Taking it as it comes. So I guess that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.